The sad part about it is we can't get on our block. Y'all got our block blocked off. We can't get on the block. <laughs> Against my wife's wishes, uh, I came outside last night to do what I, I try to do all the time. Just, you know, get the kids to listen, go home, don't trash your neighborhood. Uh, and I'm assaulted by police officers. Um, not only am I assaulted by police officers, but my phone is stolen by police officers. Um, I thought I was going to die last night. I did. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was going to die. A young man was shot and killed by Philadelphia police officers somewhere near 61st and Market. And to my understanding, this young man had a mental illness. Civilians and neighbors and people in general felt that these cops, instead of shooting this young man 12 times in front of his mother, could have handled it, handled it in a different way. As um, the day began to come to an end for us, coming home, picking up the kids, you know, and, and settling down um, and getting ready for bed, honestly, um, we began to hear a lot of commotion outside of our window. And then a familiar sound, you know, we heard a familiar, like, bomb sound, like an, a familiar exploding type of a sound. And when we heard that, we were like, you know what? We've experienced this before. We know what this is. We were uh, doing what we normally do, trying to get people to get home, make sure that we have a safe environment. And we have some friends who have businesses on 52nd Street um, that we wanted to check on. So husband went out to go check on um, our neighbors, you know, and our friends to make sure that everybody was okay. Uh, and in doing that, um, it was what felt like a very short moment in time of him going up the street to check on, you know, um, Big George is down there and then coming back on his way coming back home, um, he wasn't able to get home. It's, it's almost like George Floyd all over again. We have this young man who was shot dead by police. And people of color are angry. We're seeing this too much, too often, and something has to be done about it. We can't keep dying at the hands of police. I, didn't, I did not think that I would be, as much as I'm against it, I, I never thought that poli police brutality would happen here, you know?